everyone, welcome to Lisa's Law Solicitor's first vlog. My name is Selena Lim and I am a registered foreign lawyer at Lisa's Law Solicitors. In this video, I will share with you tips and pointers you should be aware of when you purchase your first home. Now let's get started. It is really important to seek a legal representative's advice when you purchase your home. Your legal representative will help you raise any inquiries in relation to your property, explain the procedure of the home buying process, and advise on any legal issues. For example, your legal representative will examine the legal paperwork such as the draft contract and identify any unfavorable conditions and highlight any issues to you. If there are any unfavorable conditions in the contract, you may ask your legal representative to request a change to these conditions to the seller solicitor. Before you begin looking for a home, we recommend that you seek advice from a mortgage broker or financial lender such as a bank on your borrowing capacity unless it is a cash purchase. A mortgage broker or financial lender will be able to help you gauge your borrowing capacity and give you information on the latest loan products. Please ensure you carry out this step before you make an offer on the property. When you buy a property in the UK, there are different types of property ownership. It is vital that you understand and check the property is freehold or leasehold. A freehold property means you have outright ownership of the property. You essentially own the land and building. Leasehold property means you only own the property for a fixed period of time. When you purchase a leasehold, you buy the lease, which contains various conditions which you must abide. For example, a lease of 125 years for a purchase price of 500,000. Most flats in London are sold on a leasehold basis and most houses are freehold. However, there are exceptions we can explain to you in further detail. We highly recommend that you conduct a physical inspection of the property so you are aware of the conditions and what items are sold with the property. Please remember to inquire with the sales agent about the fixtures, fittings and any chattels. Chattels meaning movable items like furniture and white goods that are included in the sale of the property as it makes a difference. Your solicitor will provide you with a fittings and contents form from the seller, but you must check that all the agreed items are included in the purchase price. For example, if you believe that you are receiving all the white goods, you must check the form to avoid any miscommunication or issues later on. You may not need to pay stamp duty on your first home if the property is under a certain threshold value. In order to be classified for a first time buyer, you must be a person who has never owned a share in a residential property in the United Kingdom or anywhere else in the world and intends to occupy the property as your main residence. For first time buyers purchasing a residential property more than 300,000, please seek a legal representative's advice who will be able to advise you further on the stamp duty amount payable. If you have any concerns about the structural integrity of the property, you may wish to hire a surveyor to carry out a survey report before you buy the property. If you are obtaining a mortgage, most banks normally require you to pay for the various searches on the property. For example, these searches include drainage and water, environmental search, local authority and chancel search of the property. For a local authority search, this search shows information such as railway schemes, planning decisions and proposals for new roads or highways. For example, an environmental search will produce information about contaminated land around or at the property. Also, if the property is within a flood prone zone and some other related details of the property. The banks require you to do these searches to determine if there are any restrictions or issues on the property. Apart from the searches I mentioned before, there are plenty of other searches which you may wish to conduct if you have any concerns. Service charge is a maintenance fee paid by lot owners who contribute to maintaining and repairing a shared common area of a building. For example, this includes lifts and stairs. Most leasehold properties such as flats have service charge fees. Please consider that you may need to pay service charge on a monthly, quarterly or annual basis. With most freehold property, there may be no service charge, however, there are exceptions. For example, with new built properties, there has been a new trend for developers to build a gated community. The houses built within this type of development are normally subject to estate rent charge, which is similar to service charge. 
A homeowner will pay a state rent charge for the shared spaces, which is maintained by a management company. We recommend that you ask the estate agent upfront to provide you with the cost of the service charge or estate rent charge. If you purchase a flat, the building insurance fee is normally included in the service charge. For most freehold properties, you will need to arrange your own building insurance. Another important tip is that we highly recommend you to purchase insurance to cover your contents in the property. For further insurance advice, please consult with an insurance broker. It is vital that you inspect the property before exchange and before completion. We recommend that you conduct an inspection of the property to ensure that the property is in the same condition as it was when you inspected it. To do this check, you may arrange this inspection with the sales agent. As a requirement of your purchase, you will need to prove your source of funds. This is one of the most important stages of the conveyancing process. You will need to provide the relevant documentation as to where your funds originate. For example, from your work income, sale of shares and other ways. To carry out the anti-money laundering check for a person who works in the UK, please ensure you have ready your certified ID such as a current passport, proof of address such as a utility bill issued in the last three months, pay slips and P60 in the last three months. If you are self-employed, a tax return and other documentation are required. On completion, the buyer pays the balance purchase price with any adjustments to the seller in exchange for the keys to the property. This is an exciting day because it means the transaction is complete. I have placed a link below for you which provides further details on our legal services and legal costs involved. Feel free to take a look and contact us if you have any questions. So there we go. Here are our tips for first time buyers. I hope you enjoyed it and found this video informative. If you need any more information about buying or selling properties or other legal advice, please do not hesitate to contact us through email, instant chat or phone. Lisa's Law Solicitors specialize in UK commercial and residential property, immigration, business, litigation, family and more. I have also placed a link below for you, which provides further details on our legal services and legal costs involved. Feel free to take a look and contact us if you have any questions. Please stay tuned for our next video. Thank you.